Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. What an exciting day it is today. We've got the Roll Road Emma 3.0. This is a moped style e-bike right here. So very well equipped. Big shout out to Roll Road for trusting me for the second year in a row with one of their products. Last year we had a chance to check out the 2.0. Let me tell you what, there's a lot to love about the 3.0. They've made a lot of upgrades to it. Let's get in the video and talk about it. All right, check out this amazing looking moped style e-bike by Roll Road. Check it out. We got some good things going on here. We're going to talk about it from head to tail. Let's go ahead and start up here at the front. We've got this humongous giant headlight right here that provides plenty of illumination at night. Right off to the side of that, those aren't bunny ears. Those are turn signals, left and right turn signals. We have plastic fenders right here. We do have CST Scout moped style tires. And I love that tread pattern right there because it's great for the street, yet still gives you a little bit of traction if you're going through some dirt or gravel. Moving on up here, you can't help but see these giant suspension forks right here. These are the dual crown motorcycle style suspension forks that does have a lockout. You can adjust. Look at that right down there. And it leads us to what else? Not just hydraulic brakes, but these are four piston hydraulic brakes. Let me tell you what, talk about stopping on a dime. These brakes right here, they'll stop you on a dime. We got 180 millimeter rotors to match those. Let's move on around the front. Look at this wiring wrap right here. So nice and clean and detailed how all the wiring is managed. Love it, love it. Moving around to the side here, we've got a huge 20 amp hour battery, semi integrated with the frame right down here. Moving down, we've got the crank. There it is, Emma 3.0. What's this right here? Hey, we got little foot pegs for the passenger because you can have a passenger on this bike. We do have a Shimano shifter. What's missing? We have a single speed back here. So yeah, so not only do we have a 1500 watt motor tied to a single speed back here on the gear set, and that's because this has a torque sensor so with that torque sensor, you put in whatever effort you want to into the pedal and your motor is going to respond and match that for you as you zip on down the road. So quite interesting. Yeah, nice, uh, nice little setup. We'll talk about that more in the riding footage. Check this out right here. Not only do you have coil springs, but you have air shocks right there as well built in. And I can tell you, this is probably one of the smoothest or is the smoothest riding bike that I've had on this channel. Combined with those motorcycle front suspension and this rear suspension designed the way it is, it is so smooth over the bumps. Now, check this out right up here. What is this going on up here? We have a second 20 amp hour battery built in underneath this seat with a reflector built in. Yeah, so there's our tail light up here, complete with a blinker. And this right here, I guess, is a reflector for that battery. But hey, 40 amp hours of battery on this moped style bike right here. I keep saying moped style, it is an electric bike, okay? But just the design, the frame, the, set, uh, the, the seat the way it is, makes it a moped style. That's why I refer to it that way. Hey, look what we have going on back here. What is this monster? We have a motorcycle style trunk, and that is attached to this rear rack right here. Now the trunk is an accessory item you have to buy separately, but this rack right here, it does come with the bike. Also, this is an accessory item right here. This is a 24 inch seat. What comes with the, the bike is an 18 inch saddle. So it's gonna be about, oh, I don't know, that long or so. And you can squeeze another passenger on there, kind of small. But if you plan to have passengers, I would recommend upgrading to the 24 inch so that you can get this entire seat on here, uh, have plenty of room for rider and passenger. Plus the way this is designed, designed so nice, it sticks out over here. You can still attach it still use your rear rack. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, moving on around here. Let's go ahead and talk about this trunk. So this is a very nice looking, ooh, look at that spider. Run, little guy, run. This is a really nice looking uh, trunk back here. It's got some style to it, built into it. It is plastic though, so it's not made of metal or anything. So yeah, I mean, if you were to have an accident or lay this bike down or something, this is probably gonna get busted up. Just be aware of that. It does have a nice latch. You push from the bottom, raise and lift, and there you go. There I have my helmet, and I have some camera equipment in there. Plenty of room 
got pockets up here so you want to tuck something away nice uh, lining that's got, got some padding to it we'll lock that back up for now yeah there we go all right and it's got these bright reflectors on here to help out at night as well let's move around on this side right here so again here you can see the four piston rear brakes really well gosh i can't tell you how, <laughs> how well those brakes work really nice and let's see let's move on up here towards the cockpit so up here in the cockpit very nicely done just a good looking good looking cockpit we have the handlebar grips that i prefer that's got the palm rest they're nice and rubbery um, there brake lever brakes again work very 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 well we have a horn we have left and right blinkers let's turn one of those on we'll turn the left one on so you can see what that looks like one down the road and to the rear what's it look like back here you can see it right there all right we have our pass setting up and down we have the walk mode which is hold it right here we have our information so you can toggle through trip you know your max speed your average speed all that good stuff time there's your odometer we have the on off button right here and we have a headlight guys we're going to turn this off yeah because i left it on we're going to turn it off and we're going to show you something you walk away from your bike you come back and try turning it on look it's not going to turn on for you you're going to have to enter a passcode you enter a passcode or you carry around this little nfc card this is near field communication this is your key look at there turned it off turn it back on boom just that fast we are ready to rock love this they give you two of these so they act like electronic keys nice easy way turn your bike on and off bam and again bam i love it love it love it moving on over to the right side we do have our hydraulic brake over here and we do have our twisty throttle i prefer twisty throttles i like it i think that's very appropriate for a moped style truck that goes up to wait for it 35 miles an hour who'd wanted to use a thumb throttle for something that goes 35 so happy to have a twisty throttle yeah so let's take another look here at this thing this is just a beautiful bike comes in black comes in white uh, i can carry what is it i think up to i believe it was 450 pounds uh 35 miles an hour yeah 40 amp hours of battery you can go a long long way on 40 amp hours of battery so that is outstanding right there combined with some passenger carrying capability a little bit of cargo yeah what is there not to like about this one right here all right so let's stop yakking about it let's get on the road and see how she performs all right guys i am six foot one 240 pounds and this bike fits me very comfortably i can straddle the back seat with just a little bit of room i have about a 34 inch inseam so uh, if you're a shorter rider then uh, you know it might be a little bit of a reach for you but i'm flat footed so uh, just check the specs online for rider recommended but you know i can tell you both daughters ride this bike and they are about five four or something okay to get us out of here we're just going to go ahead and use the throttle to get us through the grass up onto the sidewalk so that we can get some pedaling uh, action going on here feel that torque sensor it's nice and smooth you know we're in pedal assist one right now i'm going to go ahead and bump it all the way up because here's what i like about torque sensors you can be in pedal assist five as long as you're pedaling lightly the bike's not going to take off and run away from you like it does on a cadence sensor style of e-bike so i like that but if you need to get after the pedal a little bit and pick up some speed just pedal a little harder and it's going to do all the effort for you it's going to do the work you just have to do a little bit all right let's get out here into the street one thing you'll notice you hear the birds chirping but you probably don't hear much of the motor because this is a super quiet motor 1500 watts okay so we're talking about huge capacity back here and it's nice and quiet I also appreciate that the tires are nice and quiet so you don't go roaring down the road like you do on some other e-bikes that have the big knobs yeah this is just a nice quiet leisure leisure ride all right let's get going a little bit faster here so a little a little more effort into the pedal just to get us going faster we're going about 12 miles an hour right now 
let's take a right turn right here. Yeah, when you're riding with a torque sensor bike, especially this one right here, you don't have to mess with pedal assist one through five like you do on a cadence sensor bike. You can just leave it in pedal assist five, like I was saying, and just pedal lightly or pedal a little faster if you need to. So here we go. So we're just gonna pedal a little harder and get going. Now we're already up to about 22. Now this bike does weigh about 110 pounds. That's with both batteries installed. So it does have a little bit of weight to it, but you know what? You don't really feel that weight. Not when you're trying to handle the bike. You don't notice it too much because it handles real well. I think it's balanced real well. With this cushion, and I didn't talk about that too much, but with this cushion that they have on here, it's really comfortable. It's uh, a lot better than most moped style cushions that I've sat on in the past because most of the time those things are pretty rock hard. But this one, yeah, it's, it's a, they did a nice job building it. So I'm out here pedaling in just a nice leisure uh, casual ride. I found that I'm typically going 12, 13 miles per hour. Okay, that's kind of like, that, that's kind of like my, my speed where I kind of settle into. Now certainly this bike is capable of a lot more, but to reach those higher speeds, you do have to pedal quite a bit more. And with this being a single gear on the back, there's no shifting over here. So as you go faster, you will be pedaling faster, okay? So you're gonna experience that. So right now we're at 15, 16 miles an hour and you'll see how fast I'm pedaling. But then as we get going faster, let's bump it up to about 20. So there's 18. Putting a lot of effort into the pedal to keep it moving now. So there's 19, almost 19.5. Now you can see how fast I'm pedaling. And by the time you start reaching 20 for this old man, I tell you what, I start to do a little ghost pedaling. I just, the bike starts to get away from me a little bit at 20 miles an hour. And I wished I could pedal faster than that, but you know, I'm just not capable, not able to do that. Maybe you are. So just be aware of that. Let's see how this does on throttle. All right, we're gonna start at zero in full throttle only, no pedaling. There's five, seven, eight, 10, 13, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, there's 29, 30, 31, 32, 32, 32 and a half. So with my body weight of 240 pounds, throttle only, I can get it up to about 32 and a half. They do say you can go up to 35, and I'm sure that's with a lighter rider. In fact, I know that's with a lighter rider because I believe it is Manda said that she got it up to 35 and she weighs like a buck 10 or something. So very capable bike. It doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't want to throw you into the, the back seat, you know, when you hit the, the, the gas or when you hit the throttle. It's just a slow, gradual increase. So it's nice and controlled. Uh, nothing too peppy or too, you know, what feels like out of control. You don't get that with this bike. So it's really nice, controlled feeling. I think it'd be great uh, using something like this for inner city. It'd be great to use something like this for, uh, you know, maybe like food deliveries and things like that, because you have that nice trunk box back there that you can get. So certainly a lot of capability with this thing, or you can just use it to cruise around. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and test out these brakes, see how these four piston brakes do. And, and I will tell you, I was a little surprised the first time I hit the brakes because, yeah, they really grab. So you got to be careful with it. So we're going. We're about 25 miles an hour. We're going to hit the brakes right now. Yeah. See, I didn't want to lock it up because um, you can very, very easily lock this thing up. And the front brakes grab really well. Let's show you this. So front brakes only. I mean, that thing really digs in and grabs. You don't have any brake noise. You just have all braking power. Hey, look, we have an audience. They're like, dude, what are you doing? They're not amused. I don't think they're amused at all. Yeah, let's continue. Ah, let's see here. One thing I, I also noticed is, 
okay, because it's a torque sensor and because I'm really tall and I told you I've got like a 33 inch inseam, when riding this bike, my, my knees do come up quite a ways, okay? And because it's a torque sensor bike, it requires you to really kind of, you know, put some effort into this bike to get it moving at a higher speed. And so you don't have that good leg extension like you would on a traditional bike. So just be aware of that. So with that, I think a shorter rider would actually maybe be more comfortable than a taller rider than me because a taller rider is probably going to have less leg extension than I do. And it just makes it a little harder to pedal. But I tell you what, it's great exercise. Great exercise. So if I was out here riding this thing all the time, yeah, well, let's just say Richard might be weighing a buck, buck 10, buck 25, right? Okay, maybe not that much, but you get the idea. Okay, so right now we're down in pedal assist one and your throttle only works up to the top speed for pedal assist one. So that's gonna be, looks like about 13 miles per hour. To go faster, you would have to bump it up to pedal assist two. And that's gonna get you somewhere in the 19 or so. So just be aware of that. Yeah, this is, I tell you what, this is a fun bike to cruise around on. If you don't like pedaling, that is A-OK -okay because you can sit back on this comfortable saddle, just cruise around and be the envy of all your neighbors. Because I tell you, I've gotten some looky-loos on this bike because it looks so stylish, especially with the uh, being a moped style saddle and you got that trunk bag back there and people are stopping to stare and look to see what this thing is all about. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. And I tell you what, leave any comments or questions down below. We'll try to get back to you. Go check out the Emma Railroad 3.0. Links down below. Ride responsibly and ride safe.